hello youtube welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video i'll be showing you guys on how to edit your pictures with frequency separation and to show you guys my workflow and how i edit all my images so without wasting much time let's get straight to this image so the first step for me is to duplicate my background which i have done and the second step is for me to what remove my blemishes which i have done too so i need to just play my action for my frequency separation and start editing so i'm going to go to my ra i'm using my retouching academy which is my beauty retouching academy and i'm going to go to my via gradient blur and i impute my radius of 6.4 i don't know some people use 8 some people use 10 some people use 14 or well, i prefer to use 6.4 i don't know it's because it retains my texture for me i don't know but this is my favorite videos i used to use most times i edit my images so then i press my ok and i close this tab so yeah i'm going to put off this i'm going to turn off this layer and go to my correcting tones so this correcting tones it helps me correct and balance in between the light and the dark parts on my images as we move on you see the difference when i start doing it so one thing about your frequency separation you should know that you need to follow the flow of the face the structure of the face and the flow of the makeup you don't pull up your shadows into your highlights you don't put your highlights into your shadows so you do them separately why doing these correcting tones so let's get straight to it so now i'm just going to rotate i normally rotate my image so to make it more convenient for me so i'm just going to uh sorry before i forget these are my settings for my mixer brush tool i'm using my mixer brush tool so i have my weight at 25 my load at 30 percent my mix at 30 percent and my flow i'm going to use here is going to be 10. now how does this flow works this flow works um by the more the higher the higher you put the number the smoother your images get but it will be that real again so i have to use a, a lower flow for it to be real so yeah i'm just going to pull my flow to 10 and let's correct those tones so yeah now i'm just flowing with my shape so there just with my shape of the head and the makeup i'm retaining the shadows and i'm retaining the highlight on my on my image so there the highlight part separately and i'll do the shadow part separately so here i'm going to replace my image back then i have to do this side so yeah, I'm just going to follow. I'm going to follow the flow of the makeup, and because most people used to ask me, how do I edit? Do I edit with frequency separation? Yes, I do edit with frequency separation, but not most times. Most times I use dodge and burn, and most times I use frequency separation. I use both sometimes. And anyway, so I'm just going to follow, follow the flow, and. To get to see the results so yeah so i'm just going to keep going to keep brushing and you notice i'm doing the highlights separately and i'm doing the shadow part separately so so we we'll have that um a nice flow of the face so so now i'm just going to move ahead and i'll keep following the flow of the face to keep it simple so here follow as you can see i'm doing the shadow part separately and i'm doing the highlights separately So, 
So let me just do this side. Under the eyes, the nose, the cheek, and I keep flowing with that till I'm done with the entire image. So most times I rotate to to make it more convenient for me, and that's that's the best actually. That's the best. That's the best you can do. So. So I'm just going to put this one more time. I don't know why. So now I'm going to continue. So as you can see, I'm following the structure of my face or the face, sorry, and the structure of the body. I don't overdo it. So there, you can see continue. I keep doing that too. So, continue. Continue correcting till I finish up the whole image. So when I put it on before and after, let me just put it on before and after so you guys can see. So guys, let me show you the before and after of what we've done so far. So I'm just going to rotate it back and reset my view. And this is uh, before and after, before and after, before and after. So I'm just going to continue through the, the old image and let's see what we got. So now I'm just going to continue. So we're just going to continue and brush. I'm going to brush. So I'm just going to brush through and See what we got. So, so don't forget you have to follow the flow of the what the image and the structure of the image. So you don't mess you don't mess up the image itself. So I'm going to turn on. I'm going to turn off this back and we continue. So here, let's keep brushing and keep brushing. So I'm good with the result I'm seeing. So yeah. Okay. All right. So, so after doing this now, after doing this part now, I zoom in into my image and I try to find where I need to fix with the texture, high frequency texture copy. So here I just fix some minor things that I need to fix on the skin. So I'm just going to match it. I need to match, you know, constant. I need to match, press my pots and I'm just going to fix this side. Just a little bit. And fix another one. So, fix this side here. Which is side also. I'm just fixing some other parts that I feel I need to fix. Like this. So 
So I'm just going to fix it. It's just a little bit. Okay. Alright, so now I'm just going to punch. So this that's the only thing I want to fix actually. That's the only thing I want to fix. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm I'm done with the correcting tones. Now I'm going to create another frequency separation for the lower frequency separation. I'm going to show you guys now. So I'm going to go to my gaussian blur and I'm using the same radius, the same radius for this image. So 6.4. So now I'm going to work on, don't forget, we worked on the correcting tones and this, we are working on the low frequency and color tones, color and tones. So now I'm just going to go to my lower frequency pressure and first of all, watch this. I don't know why it's taking time to load. It's my side. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is, I might just zoom in or zoom out. That's the two, but I love to zoom in more. So I'll see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go to my mixer brush tool and I'm going to use my flow 10 as usual. So there, I'm not going to what I'm not going to do it gently on this low frequency color and tones. I will do them gently on them, on it. Sorry. So now I'm just going to what gently follow the flow. And like that, so I'm going to rotate. I'm going to rotate this part. Then rotate a little bit and go back to my mixer brush too. And I'm going to start. Turn up the side, but make sure you are doing it gently. Don't overdo it. If you want to still maintain that nice skin you want, don't overdo it. Just do it gently, gently and softly. Don't put too much pressure. So there, just going to continue and. I'm increasing my brush size and decreasing my brush size because of where I am trying to brush. It is a little bit small or smaller. I'm going to reduce my brush size and this. So. So I wonder here. I keep on brushing to so I'm good with what I am saying so now let's go on before and after So here now, I'm going to rotate my, I'll reset my view into my date page. And so sorry for the lagging, I don't know what's wrong. So here we have from this to this. So you just do it gently, 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 and softly. You need to put more pressure, much pressure on your hands. So just, sorry, so before and after, before and after. So now I'm just going to do that 
all around the image and wrap it up there. So there, I'm going to go to my lower frequency separation and continue. So there, I just do them softly and I make sure I follow the structure of the body. And I maintain my shadows and I maintain my highlights. So yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to just going to brush a little bit and. While my brush size is so small, it's because of the area I'm working on. I don't want it to be too large or too big. So I just reduce the brush size. So there. So now I'm just going to... I am going to um, uncheck this back to see what we are doing. And to see if we are on the right track. So guys. This is, I'm going to check this, I'm going to check this back and we have a before and after, before and after, before and after. So I'm just going to group this together to, to see what we've done so far and we have before and after, before and after, before and after. So guys, that's how I edit with my frequency separation without losing much details on my picture as you can see you can see, see some details on the picture and that's how i edit my pictures with frequency separation so thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed subscribe like and turn on bell notification button to what to get notified when i upload a new video on the channel thank you and i see you next time